I was building a website recently for a client and this client had so many resources. It was basically a membership area where they were educating people. And within that, they had tons of different spreadsheets that they needed to add. And they had these spreadsheets. Some of them were in Airtable, which is easy peasy. But then some of the others were in Google Sheets. Now, Google Sheets, you would think that's, like, that's super easy to integrate, but it's actually not. So what I'm going to show you is the easy way to do it, because when you think instinctually of how it should be done, you can't do it that way. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to do it now. So first off, you join me on the spreadsheet. So let's say you've got all the data in. What we now need to do is share this file. So if we click on file and then we go down to share and then publish to web. Then what we want to do is just click publish again, click OK. And then here we have this code and then this embed code. So we're going to grab this and we're going to copy this across. So what we do is we add a code block like so and then just paste in our data here. Now, this is what I was talking about at the start of the video. You would think that would just paste in a nice, clean sheet. Now, look what it actually gives us. This is terrible. So, if I just save this and come out, what we can see is our table is just this tiny, little, I don't know, weird table. So, what we need to do is we need to specify a height and a width, and that is going to give us the effect that we want. So what we need to do is we need to go back into our code block. So we'll click into here, and then we have our iframe here. So we'll just go right to the end, and between here and here, we'll make a little bit of space. And then what we want to do is paste this. So width, and we're going to make the width 100%. And then height, we can specify pretty much whatever we want here. This is going to be a PX value. So pixel value, if you want to make it longer, 600. If you want to make it shorter, 300. So let's just keep it at 300. Actually, no, let's put it to 400. And then you can see we've got our full spreadsheet embedded. I also have a tutorial on how to get rid of this weird line around your iframes. If you want to check that out, it's on my channel or it's on my blog. All links will be in the description. So that is how you embed your Google Sheet on Squarespace and not make it look weird. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.